This is unimproved pit latrine <coughs> uh, with some wood, uh, some uh, other materials. Uh, actually, uh, it looks like it's almost full. So uh, <laughs> it should be improved very soon. And the flies can get in and out, smell uh, also. And uh, most likely the, the pit is not lined, so there could be a risk of a collapse. Uh, but it's very cheap. So it's better than shitting in the bush. Now, you could go in and improve it by uh, using a, a concrete slab um, for cover. Um, and then you can put in a lid and that will uh, reduce the number of flies getting in, uh, putting eggs there. It will not eliminate it, but uh, it will reduce. You have a detail with the feet. Uh, it's a small elevated uh, template for where to put your feet. So when you actually put your feet there, the heels, depending on your big or small person, you just put the heels uh, where it indicates the heels. And then when you squat down, uh, you will hit uh, right in the uh, bullseye. Um, here we have uh, a similar round model uh, with the hole. The difference here is that uh, it's uh, dome shaped. Uh, like like a, a plate you turn upside down um, so it does not need uh, metal uh, iron inside um, it's, it's just another uh, model um, if using it for rural sanitation uh, you need quite a large diameter so it can be resting out here uh, and then the weight come up to about 180 kilos so you should only produce it in a place where it's next to uh, where you're going to use it and where it can be transported. So in the, the hills of uh, Likamba, not a good idea. <laughs> you can't roll it up the hill. Um, here we have the ventilated improved pit latrine. Uh, the, the feature here is that uh, you have a ventilator, ventilation shaft it could be a, a pipe minimum uh, 10 centimeters diameter or uh, a, a chimney built of the uh, bricks 40 by 40 centimeters and then on the top uh, you should have a mosquito net but uh, the mosquito net will prevent flies getting out but it will permit sunlight to get in and then what happens uh, you leave it open here uh, to have cross ventilation and then once in a while a fly will get down here and uh, put eggs and they'll hatch and then when the new flies uh, open their eyes the first time they'll look for light and because the superstructure is uh, semi-shade uh, the flies will see more light here uh, in the chimney in the ventilation and they go up through the chimney hit the mosquito net and they die not not by hitting the net but they can't get out they can't get any food um, and so it actually uh, take out the smell and it uh, reduces very uh, significantly the, the number of flies. You just have to make sure that it's not a, a, a small closed thing on top that does not permit light uh, and it uh, should not be uh, permitting the flies to get in and out. So. A piece of mosquito net uh, on top is very nice. Uh, this picture is from uh, Durban, uh, where Henrik uh, went to visit some years back. Uh, it's a little bit uh, steep area, so part of the, the pit is built above ground. Uh, this model is also from uh, South Africa, uh, or used in the Southern Africa. Uh, it's actually called uh, Reed Orderless Earth Closet. Um, I've seen it in function in South Africa. Um, it's a very smart concept uh, where uh, the concrete cover on top of the pit uh, will heat up and uh, the hot air will make sure that you get a, a, a ventilation. Um, and it will assist with dehydrating uh, the waste. The only problem is uh, this uh, chute. 
you have a seat and then you have something going a little bit like this into the pit. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to, to clean. Uh, but many people are using them in uh, Southern Africa. It's from uh, India. It's a raised pit latrine with jute again. Uh, so uh, you have in, inside just an opening and you uh, defecate there and then it will go down into a small pit uh, underneath. Um, the reason is raised may be that sometimes it gets a little bit flooded uh, and that's also not very smart because then the pit will actually flood. So the pit should also have been raised. But if it's an online pit, you cannot raise it if it's just a hole in the ground. So that was not a good example. Uh, twin pit. Uh, you use one pit for a year, then you change to the other one. Um, so you have inside, uh, you have two holes, but you're only using one at a time. And then uh, the big lid, you shift uh, once a year, and then you use the other one. Now, when you build a thing like this, you have to remember the rules for construction of VIP. One pit, one squat hole, one ventilation. If you try to save on the plastic pipe and, and share one plastic pipe for the ventilation, then you will get cross ventilation and, and you will get smell uh, going from one side to the other. Uh, it does not work. The Apollo plant a tree latrine. Uh, the, the concept is that uh, you use uh, the, the waste, uh, uh, you recycle the nutrition, not, but without touching it. You do it by planting a tree uh, in the old pit. And, and you make small pits only. Uh, they're like one meter deep only. Uh, you have a, a small ring for supporting the, the slab and you have a superstructure that is so light that it can be moved. Um, also the slabs can be constructed in a way that they're in, in two parts uh, with the ring and, and, and with a smaller slab uh, so they're easy to, to carry. Uh, so every 6 to 12 months uh, you dig a new pit and you move the whole thing. Um, and then you can plant trees and they will grow very well. So uh, this has been, it, this is a kind of ecological sanitation that has been uh, introduced in Malawi and has been very successful with uh, poor families where the women, they grab this technology and they actually learn to do the, the concrete work uh, themselves. Uh, so they don't need to ask the husbands or the men, the old men, uh, if this is okay. They just go and do it. Uh, this is a Swedish model. Um, it's quite expensive. Uh, it works in a way where you put uh, kitchen waste uh, into the pit uh, and then uh, you have a kind of grill in the bottom so you have a nice uh, ventilation and then it should by itself uh, compost and uh, move uh, when it's composted uh, the composted material will fall down and then you can take it out in the bottom so you you don't even that you only have one chamber, you will not be touching the new shit because that will be up in the other end. Uh, this thing works some places in Sweden, but because of the cost, uh, you, you cannot introduce it uh, in a sustainable way in, in developing countries. This is the uh, indoor dehydrating toilet in Himalaya. Um, in the summer, you go in and transport some soil upstairs on the first floor in the building. Uh, you might have uh, cows living down here for heating purpose and you, the family lives up there. Then you have the toilet on the first floor <coughs> with a lot of soil in that room and a hole. And then uh, you shit in the hole and then you scoop some soil down and then it will uh, dehydrate uh, 
uh, the feces and uh, next summer you just dig out the whole thing and, and you can put it on the field. It's not perfectly uh, hygienic because you will still have some fresh uh, shit uh, by the time you, you dig out. Um, we have the double vault uh, compost latrine. Uh, it's actually elevated. Uh, now here it's partly dug down, but other models, they just start from here and up. Uh, and you have uh, one part here, and then this seat you can move uh, over here. So every year you move. And then the part here will rest for a year, and then it should be hygienic, and you can move it out. Um, they, in South America, uh, they're very popular, uh, especially because they have the seat. Uh, but also they understand the, uh, uh, the thing about ecological sensation. Uh, but when introduced in, uh, in Africa, uh, it's a little bit tricky uh, because there's this general, uh, not taboo, but people don't like to mess with uh, shit. Uh, from from human beings uh, and they are very expensive also compared to other models so usually they're only built uh, when an organization go in and pay 100 percent um, we have the poor flush latrine uh, we have the flush slap uh, we have a water seal uh, so you don't actually get the smell back uh, but then you have to flush with uh, two, three liters of water uh, every time you have used it. So you see the bucket, and after use, you flush. Uh, the first slab is made of concrete, uh, the second slab is uh, made of china. Um, it's slightly more expensive, but not, not so much. Uh, here you can uh, elevate uh, the level uh, if you uh, in a zone where there's risk of uh, flooding. Uh, these two place cases in India, at least uh, go, what's the name of the island? Kosapa. Uh, there might be some risk of flooding when they have uh, cyclones. Um, here is using a uh, well concrete uh, rings. Uh, it's a little bit expensive. There are other uh, building techniques that uh, reduce the cost. Um, if you're a little bit fancy, uh, you say, uh, I want to build this inside my house, and then I have the pit outside my house. Um, that's very nice. Uh, and then, of course, you can make two of them. So you can empty them uh, one at a time every year, and this system can then function for many, many years because it never gets full. You will empty one of them uh, every year. And then we have the septic tank. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, it's expensive. Uh, it has to be emptied once in a while. Uh, and uh, you empty it, uh, well, in Denmark you call a truck or a tractor with a special pump. Uh, you shouldn't empty it by hand, but uh, if you don't have other means, you will do it. But it will have a mixture of old and fresh feces. So it's not hygienic to empty by hand. Um, so it should only actually be used for uh, institutions, uh, schools, uh, where there is access uh, for a truck and there should be a truck in the area that can come and uh, empty it uh, every, every once a year. So for households, poor household, not not okay. Uh, public latrines, this is from Ghana. Um, the problem is maintenance. Uh, some organization built this, uh, nice quality, uh, one cubicle, one pit, uh, one chimney, uh, well, two holes, that's a mistake. <laughs> um, but nobody is maintain, maintaining it, uh, so uh, it's it's not very clean. Uh, people are still using it, but uh, 
it's not hygienic. Um, we have a urinal for boys up here, and this is urinal for girls, for schools. Um, it's a it's a way of uh, of saving costs and and increasing the uh, service service level.